is CNN. Historians say art has always been quick to adopt new technology. In today's world, even the idea of getting married in cyberspace does not seem too far-fetched. Hello, welcome to Future Watch. I'm Donna Kelly. You've probably seen stories about offbeat weddings, people getting married while skydiving out of airplanes, for instance, or in convenience stores or bowling alleys, because that's where they met. There seems to be no end to the unusual and different places people choose to recite their nuptial vows. Now, are you ready for this? There's cyberspace. Chuck Coppola reports on a California couple who got married in a place that no one had ever gotten married in before, a place they created out of their own imaginations. I think it's the ultimate elopement because you're uh, eloping into another world. I was asking Hugh earlier this week, I said, well, so Hugh, are you really getting married or are you just virtually <laughs> everything but getting married? I think it's great. I mean, people are like, oh, no, this is virtual. This is going to be like a virtual life, not going to be living a real life. But I think it's like super, like, unusual. It's not so unusual when you consider that the bride works at a virtual reality amusement center and her boss could convince several high-tech firms to develop a million-dollar program for free on the chance that the couple's virtual wedding could attract a whole new market for virtual reality centers. This is more than just one marriage. There are a couple of them here. To the companies that got together, Joe's fantasy, as they described it to engineers, is more than a wedding. It's a prototype or a product that may allow other couples to walk down a virtual aisle. So you could... This is News Center 4 at 5, your 24-hour news service. The world's first virtual reality wedding takes place tomorrow. The couple will physically be in San Francisco, but they will be wed in Atlantis. You know, that's the under... High-tech reporter Richard Hart explains how this is going to work and how bride and groom are preparing for the big day. <laughs> Monica Liston picked out her gown and found a minister. Her fiancé, Hugh Joe, dealt with the caterer and found a ring. Then they picked out their world. At Visions of Reality in South San Francisco, experts in virtual reality help them create an artificial world to view through goggles as they say their vows. Monica will arrive on horseback. Their ideal selves will look like their real selves. In fact, it's so good, if Monica looks to the left, Hugh, in his virtual world, sees her character also look to the left. There is a computer for the bride, for the groom, for the minister, and guests. This will all be seats, and guests will be seated here. Amy Rosewall uh, is the world's first virtual outside. wedding coordinator. The site is the CyberMind VR Center in Embarcadero 1. Hey, Monica, where are you going to be? My bridal pod will be right here in this area. Your bridal pod? My pod. Okay. And a point-of-view monitor. They chose to marry in Atlantis, but they point out a couple can get married anywhere now. Exactly. Any, any form, we could be anything. And so it got so complicated and so that we just said, let's just make it simple. Let's make it forms and shapes and, and things people understand. Let's make it a city. Let's be ourselves. In San Francisco, Richard Hart, News Center 4. This is Entertainment Tonight for Monday, August 22nd, 1994. Hello, everyone. Mary Hart is vacationing this week. I'm Lisa Gibbons. And I'm John Tesh. And it's... Now, through the cutting-edge technology known as virtual reality, here's an E.T. first, the first couple to be virtually married. When 25-year-old Monica Liston and 33-year-old Hugh Joe decided to get married, originally they were going to elope. Instead, they decided to tie the knot at the high-tech company where Monica works. And on this day, they will become the first couple to exchange vows in a virtual reality ceremony. We wanted to be as unconventional as possible. In keeping with the techno theme, the bride wears a silver lame gown, the groom a futuristic tux. Soon they make the transition to virtual reality and enter their computer journey. I would ask you to seal this part of our relationship by kissing the bride. <laughs> the 
don't worry. After their computer kiss, they regroup, exchange rings, and enjoy a real kiss as husband and wife. Plus, virtual bliss, Dateline's picture of the week. Dateline, with anchors Jane Pauley and Stone Phillips. From our studios in New York, here are Stone Phillips and Jane Pauley. Finally tonight, you've heard of skydiving weddings, roller coaster weddings. Well, we've got one that's virtually out of this world. This weekend, Monica Liston and Hugh Joe became the first couple to say, I do, in virtual reality. The couple traded vows in the mythical city of Atlantis, but the actual location was San Francisco. As for the honeymoon, well, that's where the fantasy ends or maybe begins. They're going to Mexico.